What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday down in the matrix at Frankie's Free Range Meet. The lovely sound of the tape gun in the background. And just like the past few weeks, guys, we got some new products, exciting things to talk about and complain about. But I'd like to start this video with some very kind reviews from some of my customers. Uh, so the first one is about the chicken stock. Frankie's best kept secret. This really surprised me. I wasn't expecting too much in the way of flavor, but after one sip, I was blown away. I was planning on having to add salt, but it tastes great without it. I've tried all of the store-bought brands and nothing comes close in terms of flavor, quality of ingredients, and packaging. It's the first time I've actually tasted pure chicken broth. It's truly the best of the best. I'm happy that you guys like my products and a lot of work goes into that chicken stock because, you know, we do it twice. So we make a chicken stock and then we add the chicken, the vegetables again and do it twice. So it's a very concentrated, flavorful broth. And honestly, we don't really make money on it because it's $5 a jar and it's so expensive to make, but otherwise we'd just be throwing it out. So what are you going to do? So this is for the roast beef. Frankie stuff is the best. If you're not buying this meat, you're missing out. I honestly do not know how he is able to offer this stuff at these prices and still make a profit. In any case, I will keep buying. Ah, someone is wondering how I can afford to offer stuff at these prices. Well, I personally haven't paid myself and I can't afford to move out of my house, but uh, we did run out of roast beef, so I'm gonna try to make some more and get your orders out as soon as possible, guys. This is just a general email. Good evening, I just received my order and all I have to say is I'm not ordering from anywhere else. The steaks are frozen solid and it's over 70 degrees down south where I am now. The packaging, quick response, etc. I've told everyone I know about your business and I'm looking forward to ordering bi-weekly from you exclusively. So I will try my best to live up to your expectations, guys. That's why I am trying so hard to increase the profit, expand the business to the point where I have complete control over the quality of every single product. Uh, this one is for the copper supplement on organsupplements.com. Very helpful. Use this a few times already and my histamine intolerance is reduced significantly. Insomnia is almost gone. Don't feel as weak and so far not getting sick. So yeah, depending on what type of diet you're following, you might have some mineral deficiencies. And we've done videos on everything guys. Histamine intolerance, all the different minerals. So uh, if you can't figure out on your own by watching my videos, you guys can always go to frank to schedule a consultation with me. But let's get started and talk about what's going on this week. So I would say these past two months or so, the order volume has been a lot higher. So my guys have been working all day on Monday and half the day on Tuesday just packing the meat orders. Before we would basically finish all of them up on Monday and have some free time on Monday, uh, which means we're kind of falling a little bit behind on the uh, Frankie's Free Range Foods orders as well. So let me just give you guys a look around. We got some orders here. We got a pallet here. And then we got two pallets of orders in here as well, ready to be picked up. Uh, we did try the meat granola in the dehydrator. Not sure if it's going to work, guys, so don't hold your breath. For the most part, we still have some best bars left on Frankie's Free Range Foods, mainly the vanilla and berry. Uh, but we did do the pemmican back in stock, guys. So uh, some of you guys were looking to order the pemmican. We have plenty right now. For the water keeper, we just ran out of the lemon apple, guys. I think we have some pineapple in stock. We are running low on the Wagyu beef tallow, so if I can't get some more fat, then I don't know what we're gonna do, so uh, you guys might wanna get this while you can. The flavored jerky should be ready by the end of this week, so definitely keep an eye out on the website for that. I'm really excited to see how it turns out, guys. In the freezer, I showed you guys last week, we got some new thicker cut Wagyu steaks in stock if you wanna try those out. More importantly, the picanha is back in stock. We have whole three pound and four pound picanha. I haven't seen anyone else selling this online yet, guys, so you can only get it with us. Of course, we also have picanha steaks as well, one pound, smaller portions. I didn't think you guys were gonna go for them that much, but we sold uh, most of the Wagyu tomahawk ribeye, so thank you guys for uh, supporting even the slight luxury items. Uh, so we're running low on the porterhouse steaks, even though they're a very, very low discounted price. I really want to restock these because I like them, but um, you guys aren't going for them. So maybe we'll have to figure out what the deal is. So to me, this is a pretty big deal. I finally found some lamb heads. Now you guys have been bugging me to get the lamb brains back in stock and I have not been able to get them, but we have whole lamb heads. You got the eyes, you can crack it open the brains inside. You have a lot of meat. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they left the tongue in too. So these are $22 each, and they're, they're heavy, guys. These are five pound lamb heads. So uh, I, I might have to charge more, we'll see. Uh, I'm just worried that because it's so heavy, the shipping cost is going to be too expensive. We haven't actually sold that many, probably because I didn't put it at the top of the website and I didn't announce it in a video, but we'll see. It's definitely way more convenient to have the brains, which is why I've been trying to keep the veal brains in stock for you guys. We still have plenty of the Iberico ground pork. So guys, if you try this, please leave a review. Let me know how it is. We've had a lot of these lamb ribs, which are really fatty. So I'm gonna see if I can lower the price a bit just so we can uh, move through some of them. We ran out of the chuck steaks as well as the chuck roast last week, but we got plenty, plenty, plenty for you guys. So on the website, I separated the regular ground beef from the ground steaks. So uh, we've sold about half of the ground New York strip and the ground ribeye, so some of you guys are getting it. Uh, what's new this week is we have some ground tenderloin, and this is really lean. Uh, it's very, very tender. It's just so, so easy to eat and digest. Um, I think I'm charging $16 a pound for this, although I wanted to charge $20 because uh, I'd rather eat it all myself. Uh, it's just really, really nice, uh, exclusive product. And I'm sure other companies would, would sell that for way more per pound. We're also going to have uh, some fresh ground chuck available this week. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be more affordable because I think the ribeye and the strip are around $14, $13 a pound. The chuck is gonna be around 10 or 11. As you guys know, we have the most affordable products online. And then on top of that, you get free shipping and a discount. So I, I've been looking at competitors, just making sure that you know I'm not underpricing myself too much. And I kind of am. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass and I don't end up in uh, you know giving up in Colombia or something, just playing with girls all day. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But if we do, it's <laughs> if we do, it's because I was selling meat too too low price. Because even ground beef is like nine, ten dollars a pound online. It's fucking cra like, that's crazy to me. It's really crazy to me. But hopefully we stick it out a bit longer. Uh, even though I've been saying that every week and I'm losing my mind. So that's most of our new products and what's going on this week. I forgot my to-do list, so I'm sure there's going to be something next week that I will be bringing up for you guys. Uh, in regards to the other stuff, we have plenty of that chicken stock available, and uh, we've actually been dumping some of it because it goes bad. So after after about a week or two. You know, even though the ones in the supermarket are on the shelf for a lot longer, we, we just recycle and start a new one. The collagen broth has been selling pretty well. Uh, we have a fresh batch in. So let's uh, run downstairs. We don't have anything new on organ supplements, but uh, we do have a new Wi-Fi shielding product for you guys. And the tooth powder is back in stock on Frankie's Naturals. On organ supplements for the uh, beef powders, we might do a sale on some of them because I'm really, really low on a few, but others I have a decent amount of. So we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll do like a 20 or 30 percent discount something really high even even though i sell all of these products for lower prices than other supplement companies you guys know like the channel's kind of censored i don't you know it should be flying off the shelf but you know i can't exactly get a whole like capsulized product that's a whole different story but we'll see frankie's naturals as i said guys we made some tooth powder over the weekend so we have plenty all the orders were sent out if you guys have been waiting so i'm a little excited about this too i've been mentioning it for the past several weeks my tailor is very creative uh, she had an idea for uh, something for like babies and toddlers so we have a silver shielding kind of uh i guess you would call it a sleeping bag with a hood uh, for kids we have two different sizes one is small and i guess one is medium or one is medium one is large and i would guess like you know, if you have a baby or a one-year-old or two-year-old, maybe the smaller one's good. And then if you have a toddler or someone a bit bigger. Um, but, you know, the thing is, you know, this is for like a kid uh, you know, that's smaller. They could wear it when they're sleeping if you don't have a bed canopy set up or like just when you're bringing them around outside. So really, honestly, I mean, look, if, if I had a kid, first of all, I would try to be in the rural area where there's no Wi-Fi EMF at all. But if you absolutely had to take your kid somewhere, this is about as good as it gets because it's complete 100% shielding. If it's a very high Wi-Fi EMF environment though, you might even want to use two. Um, and by that I mean if there's a cell phone literally right next to the kid, then that's where you'd want more. But we're going to have these available. I'm going to list them later. I got to figure out the price. Uh, but I know some of you guys have been asking for that type of stuff. I wish Amazon didn't steal my $900 dehumidifier because this other one I have, which is still a few hundred dollars, just it's always running. It's never really actually 
um, ever gotten rid of all the moisture. But I think we've covered everything for this week. Uh, oh, we're supposed to go on Wednesday to uh, a new uh, slaughterhouse and then have them do like one or two local beef for us. I'm a little concerned. Uh, I told you guys like I went to visit this farm once and this older farmer had a stroke. That's the guy that's supposed to bring the beef to the slaughterhouse on Wednesday. And when I called the guy up, he didn't remember who I was. So I, I do have a slight concern about how that's going to go on Wednesday, but we're going to take a two hour trip up there, bring the cattle to the slaughterhouse. Well, well you know, we'll do the, do the deed. Then uh, they got to leave the carcasses to hang a little bit. And then we'll have the local beef back uh, in like uh, two or three weeks. We actually have, I think one package left in stock, so it's going to be perfect, but the price should be much lower. So uh, I think that's, everything that's been going on this week. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me as usual. You can go to frank to check out all of my businesses. Someone referred to me shirtless on the beach on my website is softcore, but um, hey, maybe we'll have to change that up to something else. Uh, Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Syringe Foods, Oregon Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. And then on the frank on website yourself is where you can schedule consultations. So thanks again for joining me guys, and I will see you for tomorrow. If I have any fucking patience left.